Yeah, good evening and happy Monday to you. Did that just fart about a bit a little bit? I should have not. I need a, I need a, one of them other thingy things. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, hi, how you doing? Nice of you to join me. Thank you very much indeed. It's another Monday Night Live. Now, tonight I am on my lonesome as Mr. Todd is in bed. He may, he may be popping up in chat at some point in time. But um, but no, he's not coming on. So it's just me. And so the idea is for it, for it to be a reasonably quick one tonight, um, mainly because I've got a little bit more editing to do and a couple of other bits and bobs that I need to be getting on with. So um, but I did want to just kind of touch base and say hello to you guys here. So if it's your first time here, the way these Monday night lives work is the first kind of 10 minutes is me saying hello to people in chat. So if you're watching this on playback, then uh, just fast forward at 10 minutes. And then uh, once we done that we'll get into the bulk of the thing and then i will uh, i will uh, then go for some sort of q a sort of answers and stuff um but uh, no to start with let's just have a quick look in the old chat here uh, james rivera hey dean thomas bvb hello from germany always lovely to hear from wherever you are from so uh, make sure you stick that there if you say hello um uh, what have we got? Stephen Brentnell uh, from Essex. Uh, what have we got going on there? Oh, it's going a little bit quick. Um, Darren Appleby, Steph Skellington, Skiffington, Skellington. Don't know where that came from. Um, James Rivera. I said hello to you, haven't I? Have I? I don't know. Mark Dettinger. Hello. Hello to you as well, sir. Uh, Sweden. Hello, Barney Cool Vapes in Sweden. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for coming to join me. New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, from Jason Gwin 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 Gwin. Gwin Gwinden? Gwinden? Is it a gw or is it a Ginden? I, I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Reese Evans, uh, clean as fuck, coils. Uh, oh, he's saying hello, James. Not me at all. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's just... See, I sort of scroll a little bit and then it goes, out, you fucker. And then uh, um, off it goes. Um, James Whiting, hello from Reading. Hello, James. How you doing, buddy? Um, Mark Danger, how are you and your lot? I think you're asking me, are you? I think you are. I, not bad at all. Thank you very much indeed. Ticking over. Much, much better. So, much better than I have been, at least. Um, Schwarzy, hello, Mr. Schwar. Hello, how are you doing? We need to get a review from you soon, I think. Uh, so we'll, we'll make that happen. Legion Vapes, hello from down under. Hello all the way upside down to you as well, Mr. Legion Vapes. Um, hello, everyone from NC. I don't know where that is. Hello, of Dean with Va Ravens Baker. What? Hello, Dean with Ravens Baker. I'm a big fan of yours. Okie Koki. Thank you very much indeed, David Bellinger. I don't understand your message, but thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Lassie. Well, hello, good sir. Good to see you. Monday Night Live is live and kicking. Absolutely. It was a little bit touch and go. It was a little bit touch and go. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I may have a massive coughing fit going on while I'm doing this, but we'll we'll try and uh, I'll try and kind of, you know, turn the mic off or something if that happens. Jay McDonough is in here from uh, James McDonough is in here from London vaping with Nikki B in Ohio. Thank you very much for joining me, Nikki B. Um, uh, Kevin Mann is from Oxford. Used to live in Abingdon. Not entirely sure if I've said that and you've said that and I've said that again before. Used to live in Abingdon as a youngster. Kind of proper young. But uh, yeah, that's that's close to Oxford. Um, nearly went to Oxford University. Um, anyway, uh, hey, Dean Emsworth. Is Emsworth a place, Stephen James? I'm going to go that it is. So hello to Emsworth. Um, Stephen Van He. Belgium, hello. Uh, Rone Loturco. Hey, mate. Hello, how you doing? Sam Bazdar. Uh, sup, sup. How you doing? Um London Water, I'm not effing. Please say hi to me, Dean. All right, London Water. Hi. <laughs> Um, uh, hi from Washington State. Hello, clean. I've said well, I've said hello to you already. Clean as fuck, course. S Trooper Rabbit from California, Ohio. OK, 4K. There seems to be some quite sort of popular groupings. I mean, America is a big place, granted, but there seems to be sort of popular places. Like there seems to be a big vaping thing going on in New York and um, various places in Ohio and uh, California and Florida and stuff. Yeah. Um, Hi, Dean. This is Christine from Florida, USA. Hello, Christine from Florida, USA. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, the 4% Club is still is still rocking through. I need to check to make sure we still have a 4% Club or if we've got kind of like a 4% OG requirement, um, if we've gone past that 4% now when it comes to the ladies. Um, Ethan Wright is from Staffordshire. Teus, hello, Teus. How are you doing? From Sweden. Um, it just skipped. It just skipped a bunch. Uh, a bunch of people are saying hello. Mr. Todd, is Mr. Todd in the house? Is Mr. Todd in the house? Is he? He is, look. He is. 
Not a bloody clue what he's saying, though. Good day, Dean. I think your magic... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, trucking, Truckinator greetings from Minnesota. Hello, Truckinator. Um, uh, Gibran Kali Khalil. Uh, hello from India. Hello indeed to you, sir. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Lots of people saying hello to Mr. Todd. And uh, and so you bloody well should. He's a lovely man. Um, hello from Louisiana in America. So it's John Whistler. Um, Marguerite Smith is from Uranus. That's That's lovely. California just got a spade. Don't know what that means. Um, what else we got going on in here? Philippines. John Fabrega is from the Philippines. Ian Thomas is from Bristol. Uh, hey, Dean, from freezing Edinburgh. Andrew Stewart. It's been a bit flipping nippy in Norwich as well, to be fair. It has been a bit on the nippy side. Um, he's speaking Scotch. Says he loves it. He loves it. If you ever if you ever speak to Mrs. Todd, call him Scotch. He loves that. Um, <laughs> hello from Switzerland, says Rene Berger, uh, Raphael Costa, hi Dean, hi Raphael, how you doing? Um, uh, Jesus the monkey, Drusus the monkey, um, I think when I, when I was, when I was in Tunisia, I, th I used to kind of, I, they speak French in Tunisia as well as, as, as their sort of native language. And so I, one of the things that used to make me giddy with humor was to go past people in the hotel and go, la sange est sur la table. And I think... That is French for the monkeys under or on the table. I'm not entirely sure. Eddie Izzard. Don't know why it stuck, but it did. Um, Aaron Arthur. <laughs> Hello, Dean. How's you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Aaron, is it just me or is it the feed stuttering all over the place? I don't know, Kevin Matt. Um, It looks as though it's running fairly cleanly on here. However, if you go to, is it this corner? I think it might be this corner. There's a little cog there, I think, or a little little three dots or something. And you should be able to, if you're watching on a mobile, I think it's probably up here. Um, but you should be able to click down on a different resolution. It, it, that might help. That may help if you have a, a slightly lower resolution. Uh, Spanish in Scotland. Hello. <laughs> Raul Van, 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 Vaquero, Vaquero, I think. Um Hey Dean, looking fresh again. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, right, oh Christ, we go. I think I don't know what time we started. Ace Anglia is down in the bones, kind of damp, cold. It, it flipping well is Mark Dettinger. It flipping well is. Um, so I I have I oh Sunny Sheringham Sheringham Snaggletooth. I used to go and hang out in Sheringham a lot. When I was a youngster and a skateboarder, was it got Cromer and Cromer mostly, but a little bit in Sheringham as well. Um, uh, Snaggletooth. Uh, no, I've just said hello to you. <laughs> Lois, how you doing? Nice to see you. Um, <clears throat> I like that, James. La Sange d'un Labe. Lab, lab, labe, lab, lab. Um, the monkey's in the tree. Okay, okay, okay. But that, that, but you expect a monkey in the tree. You don't expect a monkey under the table, do you? <laughs> Shell Palmer's from the Cotswold. Um, and I think we're going to get into it. I think we're going to get into it just because I don't know what time we started. So it might have been 10 minutes of me saying hello to you. I don't know. Let me have a vape first while I have a little think about it. Hold on. So, like I've said to you, what I will be doing is I will, uh, I will kind of be keeping an eye on the chat but uh, I will also uh, I will also kind of go ahead with the the, the basics of the of the vlog it's going to like I say it's going to be a reasonably quick one and then hope well hopefully but you know me and words they don't often get along so we <laughs> it might be more troublesome than it's worth but we'll see how we go um but uh, and I will try and keep an eye on it. If there is a if there's a burning question that you can't wait to get answered, start it with at vapingbiker.co.uk. Uh, no, no. See, look, we've started already. Start it just with at vapingbiker. Forget the website stuff. Forget the code. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then put your question in uppercase in capital letters so at vaping biker and then capital letters with your question because that'll mean that i will see it a little bit easier with my old blind eyes i haven't really got to use my uh, my uh, my reading glasses as yet however Stephen is wearing them so um should i need them then uh, they are on Stephen there and uh, dave up there he, he doesn't need them but he's wearing the crown so it's all good he's happy um now then, what have we got going on here? Uh, we've got Bosnia. Uh, there we go. Right, I don't think anything dodgy is going on in chat. Please be nice. There's no point in being a knobhead in chat. And it's uh, we've got a lot of love in there at the moment. So it's uh, it's nice to have it. 
I like I like generally my chat is is very friendly and I do like that a lot. Um, but uh, no, what we got going on? So uh, first of all, a massive massive apology to uh, to Mister Vaping Heathen um, uh, Billy because I did not do your RDA justice in my live review. I thought I was going to be well enough to do a live review, but if anyone saw it, I was uh, I was kind of full beans with the flu, and while I could have a little bit of a vape, I was in I was in no no state to 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 be on youtube quite frankly and uh, so i do apologize for that one because it was uh, it was a bit of a car crash i mean i think we got the basics through it but it just took us like an hour and a half to get there and uh, and lots of coughing and spluttering and me being bollocks you might hear from the voice that i'm not fully fully okay with it i've just nicked a load of uh, of cough medicine and i've got a big old thing of squash here to uh, to keep me lubricated <laughs> so hopefully we'll get through it without too much of an ado this evening or to do rather now then um uh, what we got see see ah, there we go craig higginbotham both bottom both them has put his put at vaping biker and then and then put the question in uppercase so i can see it thank you craig very kind of you now craig Hig craig says do you have days where you can't coil for toffee yes yes i do quite a lot quite a lot but uh you know i coil a lot but uh, no i mean a lot of the reviews for some reason because i'm doing them under camera i kind of i, I make a hell of a mess of them <laughs> <laughs> they seem to get through it but uh no some days some days it's just it's all manner of fanning around um <coughs> now then excuse me so let's what was i going to say um i've got the up close camera to show you a couple of bits and bobs i've apologized for being crap on my uh, dead rabbit sq review um is that a time team t-shirt dean no no it's not it's a uh, it's a it's a coil thing and i think this one came from uh, the uh, mr vape mats so vapemats.com came, uh, came over there. Um, uh, Kevin Mann, I will be shortly. Hold your horses. Hold, I, haven't got, I haven't got to the new stuff in yet. <laughs> um, now then, uh, what else have we got going on? So, hope everyone's a, uh, a winner in chat. So I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on it so um, Mr. Todd doesn't have to do too much from, from his bed. <laughs> um, now then. Now then, what have we got? So first off, from a, not necessarily advocacy, um, but uh, an awareness point of view, um, the uh, Qatar, uh, Q-A-T-A-R, that's, that's the most recent one that I've seen on the, uh, on the no vaping list. Obviously, we had Singapore a couple of weeks ago. Now we've got Qatar, um, something that we have kind of seen coming, but, uh, but that's a no, no vape zone now. So be aware of that one if you have to go there. I know that uh, a lot of oil and gas workers will go out there, and I know that some people will go there as a stop off to go somewhere else. So just be, please be very, very aware of that one. Andy Vickery, is there any update on the Daedalus Pro? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a little while. Um, the best, uh, I can't tell you, um, the best and the things like that. I will get to those after I've done the main chunk bit. So just stay with me on that one, guys and gals, and uh, and I will uh, I will um, I will get to those in a minute. But if I don't get through the kind of the stuff that I want to talk about as the as the main kind of focus on the vlog, then um, I'm not the brightest, and so I will I'll be all over the show. I will be absolutely all over the show. So stick with me on that one. Now then, I'm gonna have another vape. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm a little bit later tonight as well, purely because my review of the Phobia RDA just got uploaded. So that's now being processed on YouTube just so they can demonetize that nice and quickly. Um, but uh, as soon as this uh, this has been finished, I oh, as soon as this has been finished, as soon as this is finished, I will make that live. So that's going to be happening. Um, I've just got to upload the uh, review of the Vanguard as well from, uh, from Vicious Ant. Uh, that will be live tomorrow although my patrons do get a uh, will be getting a kind of a, a slightly earlier uh viewing on that one like a preview of the of the review if you like um what else now then new stuff i think new stuff um tommy gun vapes dean have you got the odin mod yet no i have not there we go answered that one uh right so let's have a little look at new stuff now did i show you did i show you this thing did i show you this last week i can't remember if i did this is the uh this is the thing this is from uh this is from geek vape isn't it uh yes geek vape the blade the blade kit and it's uh it's a color why am i holding up i've got a camera to do these kind of things look hang on hang on 
Now then, Vicious Ant are doing great stuff, uh, Morbius Stone. However, the the I know I'm going to get grief over that review purely because it's a $350 mod, so possibly the most expensive mod I've reviewed on this channel. Anyway, let's go down. Look, my skull's on the wonk and everything. <laughs> but at least you can see my pretty face in the corner. Now then, um, so, yes, well, isn't it? That's a thing. Um, I think I've already shown you this, but I'm not 100% sure. So uh, so we will uh, make sure that we're in focus. Um, so uh, we'll just go over it quickly. So this is the blade. It's a monster. It's a beast. It's a huge, hoofing great big mod. And it is massive. If I do a little size comparison, obviously, shape-wise, it's not dissimilar to the uh, to the, to the Minikin V2. And, uh, oh, should we go under camera, Dean? You can see there that we've got... Fucking, I tell you, this, this is not as easy as I imagined. We do have quite the difference when it comes to height and uh, and also, you know, just size. So uh, it is a big bastard. But uh, under here, if we take open this door, which is a little bit interesting, we've got batteries here, but they actually go, you can see at the top here, that they've got their own separate tray because I'm using 18650s, but you can use like 2700s and 21700s in here as well by taking this tray out. Unfortunately, I don't... I you can't use 2650s, which is really annoying because I'd love to have used those bad boys. But uh, but no, so that's that in there. But with this mod, it's a, it's, it's just a strange thing. I think it is really, really, really ugly. I do, I do not like the look of it. Now, this effect on this paint, I think, I mean, this is plastic. This isn't resin. And I think what they've done here is kind of, eight years ago, I, I was I was trying to dip some stuff. And basically, it was like a you get a, a bucket of water and... Um, um, you spray a load of car paint in the top and give it a little bit of a little get a bit of a mix around and then you can dip mods and things and stuff in there loads of loads of videos on how to do it on YouTube and this looks very much like um, like that and the reason I say that is because of these kind of super light areas that just seem to have missed the kind of the bulk of the dip do you know what I mean um, so to me that kind of I mean you've got bits of it I mean this bit here I guess is kind of funky and uh, and this bit of the door is kind of funky but then you've got these kind of massive areas and sections that just are not um, included at all which which I, it, it looks faded and it, I mean up here it's got this kind of off-white kind of pea stain kind of color and it's just it's not pretty i don't i don't think it's a it's a pretty looking mod and uh, i think someone might have mentioned in uh, in chat there that when they have if they did do the dipping thing then obviously they didn't dip the door with the mod at the same time which just seems a little bit daft to me because you if you dip the whole thing then you'd you'd, you'd have had a kind of a, 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 a what's it called a uniform design going on um, which would look to which would have looked a lot better but uh, this once again tells me that I think they probably when they dip this it probably went in kind of like face down into the water and then uh, and then they might have done so they might have kind of like rolled this in which is how you dip um, so that's that's why I think or that's what I think is going on there now the board in there is um, basically the sort of the same as the Aegis that we've already seen so we've seen this kind of board already and uh, if we go up you can see the sort of the the uh, maximum wattage I think is this 200 watt mod no, 235 apparently there you go wallop um but i have uh, i have had a little bit of a play with it so far it did come with this tank now this tank isn't obviously going to get reviewed but i have noticed that the coil hasn't seemed to last very well at all now that could be the juice but uh, it doesn't seem to have lasted um super a super long amount of time and it took a little bit of breaking in as well to be honest with you so um yeah it's not uh, this is also one of those coils that has a massive ball going on the inside of it which uh, which i'm I'm generally not a fan of there is there is like a quad core one or a triple core one in the box as well so I'll uh, I'll stick that in the tank just uh, just so I know so I can talk about it in the review a little bit but uh, but no there you go that's that it's a looker isn't it mmm lovely but uh, no that's gonna be that's gonna be something that is going to appeal to some people I I, uh, I imagine anyway I think we've got enough juice in the battery to have a little vape let's have a toot And there you go. And yeah, that coil's fucked. Um, uh, ben Magazine, is it made of plastic? Yes, I said I, I say it was made of plastic. I said that earlier. Um, so yes. Um, now then, 
So that's uh, that's that. Why am I still showing it under the camera? You can't see that. What else has come in? So the else, else, another thing. This is a dirty little mech mod now. Um, not dirty as in it's a cheeky one, but uh, dirty as in I've been using it a lot. And so here we go. This is the Claymore. Now, this is something that Mr. Todd reviewed a while ago in its previous form with regards to it had a, a regular 510. This is a hybrid 510 on this one. Um, and it's got a tiny, tiny look can you see that there's hardly any movement in that throw the button is so soft and delicate it's ridiculous um and the interesting thing on the underside of this is there is the uh the 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 insulator that goes just above the bottom threads there and that's what holds the battery so when you pop your bat your button in it uh, it goes in there like so, and then it is just that tiny little little uh, little push there, which is which is lovely. Um, but uh, a nice chap called uh, Kenny makes these, and uh, it's it's very nice indeed. So I'm testing the crap out of this at the moment, and uh, and uh, tipping the the RDA up on itself made me made me uh, juice out. <laughs> um, but uh, but no, so I'm uh, I'm really I'm really enjoying this at the moment. Is it is it groundbreaking when it comes to a mech mod? No. No, it's not. But it's fully made in Scotland. And uh, the idea of having a sort of a fully Scottish made um, mech, I think is pretty damn cool, to be honest with you. Um, it isn't something he, he used to make these by hand on his own lathe, I think. But then I think, um, he, you know, it was causing him trouble. So he gets he gets them uh, turned a, a, a Scottish machine company. So um, it's still all made in Scotland. I think these are coming through about 145 quid in Including postage, I believe something along those lines. Um, but uh, no, I'm really enjoying it. 18650, and uh, I've got the uh, I've got the phobia on top of there at the moment, and it's uh, it's a funky looking little mech, mech, little mech mod. And I've not put it on a uh, I've not put it on the uh, the vault tester or anything uh, close to that yet. We're nowhere near doing a uh, a review on it. But um, no, I, I'm having a jolly nice time. I've got 0 0.15 coil in there at the moment, dual coil, my Clapton's that I like. And uh, yeah, it's pumping out like a good one. Um, juice wise, by the way, I am uh, I'm currently using. I know a lot of people do ask me about this. So uh, I, uh, I told you that I had ordered some juice before and I have. Um, this is the uh, the Vapor Junkie Peach Yogurt, which is just, it's like, it's gorgeous. This one really, really reminds me about uh, of, a, uh, of, a, of a peach um, flavor that I used to vape a lot of. And it's a really nice, clean burning juice as well. I mean, if I pop that... If I pop that open under there, you can see that we've got nice clean coils, nice clean wick going on, and I'm having a jolly good time with that one. Um, and on top of that, I've also bought, my, and these I did buy. I, did, I went out and, and spent my 40 quid on getting these two. Um, this Northern Syrup, because this from uh, Vapor Junkie as well, is uh, is just fucking lovely. I'm I'm horribly addicted to this at the moment. So these two are my, uh, are my juices that I'm super happy with at the moment. Once again, I can see people asking questions in chat. I will come to them shortly if you can hold fire on those just for the moment because if I don't say these things I'll forget and talk about them and then uh, it's all wrong we're nearly there we're nearly at the, the, the Q&A bit nearly there so uh, just stick with me for a moment now I know you can see me in that corner thing so the final thing the final thing pretty much the final thing the penultimate thing that came through. I did a little post on uh, on um, on my community page on uh, on what's it called YouTube, <laughs> and uh, and asked what people wanted to see a review of, whether it was the Death Wish Twenty Four or um, the Sub Ohm Shorty, and uh, the, the Death Wish Twenty Four One. So I contacted um, Evolution Vaping so I could go and buy one, and they uh, they decided no, they were going to send me one anyway. So uh, there we go. We've got I've got it on top of the drone at the minute, and that's obviously because i'm using it in squonk mode rather than in uh, in dripper mode i have i have dripped on it but uh, i've got it in squonk mode at the moment just a uh, a chunky old single coil going on in there currently um i've had a couple of different juices through this i've got a hair there get rid of that um and uh, and uh, i'm having a jolly good time it's it's incredibly similar to the uh, the 30 mil death trap uh, but just smaller and so because of that it's a nice restricted airflow nice little flavor machine and 24 mil means that uh, you know it's a nice and simple build but uh, that single coil in there really kind of helps fill up the inner chamber so so uh, yeah the flavor on that is uh, is top stuff and I'm, I'm 
having a jolly good time. Uh, it took me, a, I, I built it when I, because everything that, that I get, um, I do an unboxing for the, for the Patreon people. So patrons get to see kind of a live unboxing, usually a build if it's a if it's an atomizer and uh, and uh, sort of a very first impression. And uh, and that's what they got with this one. And I, I put coils in and then I just had a bit of a nightmare of the time, but uh, not because it was difficult to build, but just because I'm an idiot. Uh, but now we are we are rocking it good and proper now. Eh? And so that's a winner. So um, one of the things that Evolution Vaping have said as well, that if you use the code BIKER, um, then the, you get 10% off it. So if you go to evolutionvaping.co.uk, use the code BIKER, you'll get 10% off a 24 mil death trap if you so want one. And it looks the tits on top of a mech as well. Um, let me just show you. Let me just show you what it looks like. Because I think it's because it's quite stumpy, because it's quite little. I think it looks awesome. No, then just, I, I think I posted pictures up a little while ago, or uh, just before the weekend, or around the weekend. I don't know. Um, of it on the uh, on the old um, what's it called, Dreamer mod, and uh, that looks that looks pretty sick, doesn't it? That looks pretty sexy. I like that. I know that's out of focus, but I but I, I like it. I don't like it being out of focus, but I think it looks very sexy on the mod. So anyway, that's what that looks like. So. We're nearly there. We're nearly there for the uh, to the questions and answers stuff. Um, but uh, but yeah, I thought I thought you guys might want to might be interested in that. Seeing as so many people ask me about the RDA, I thought you might like a uh, a discount code. So that's why I've shared it. Um, <coughs> I think all the details should be in the description down below as well. I think. Fingers crossed. Now then, let's have a little crack on. What else? There's one more thing. And this thing, I think, is genius. Um, I put a, I put a, an affiliate link for it because it's not a vaping-related thing. And so I might I might put affiliates for non-vaping-related stuff just because, you know, if I get an extra couple of quid every now and again, then it's no bad thing, is it? Um, but then I, I have an, an issue. Oh, no, hang on. No, no, wait, wait. Before we get to that... Before we get to that, there is one more thing to show you, um, which is a whole bunch of uh, of going backwards. <laughs> so uh, let me just get this in focus before before I go into it. And whippy, so this turned up today. This is the new Coilmaster build kit. Now I I do use my Coilmaster V2 kit all the time. Whenever I go anywhere, it's just useful to have in the bag. It's got everything I need, and so I use it wherever I go. Um, they did send me this through as well as a, a bunch of just random paper stuff because it's Chinese New Year. Um, which I didn't get my head around at all. But this is the update, okay? So those of you that sort of have had your Coilmaster stuff might have had the original big kit, and then they came out with a smaller, much smaller kind of zip-up kind of kit as well. Um, and now they've got this one. Now this 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 confused me. This confused me greatly because um, it's, it's a plastic box. It's a plastic box. And then inside there... We've got we've got these. So we've got we've got kind of ceramic screwdriver, uh, ceramic screwdriver, ceramic tweezers. We've got pointy pointy tweezers, metal ones. Um, we've got scissors, clippers, and then we've got we've got this little affair. Now I was convinced when I did the unboxing for the for the Patreon people, I was convinced that this should come apart because, hang on, because it looks like it should come apart, doesn't it? But uh, but no, I don't think it, I, I well I certainly couldn't do it. I had vape bands on it and all sorts of things. I could not get this apart. Now then, uh, what goes on there is you then get your uh, get one of these little screwdriver fittings. If I get the one of the larger ones, these screwdriver fittings that you can't see because they're out of focus are also your your coiling rods. So if I can show you there, the sunny hair is getting everywhere. Um, uh, there we go. So we've got a three and a half mil OD of this uh, of this little puppy here for one year coils on, and I think that two means it's a two mil screwdriver. Maybe I think possibly, uh, but that just goes in there, and then you would. Um, it's a very snug fit, and then you wind your coil around that. So Coilmaster have you know previously done kits where um, where you have the the the, the coil wrapping gear. Can't get this bugger out. There we go. Um, the coil wrapping uh, rods and everything else, which make life... I use them. I still use them daily because they make life so, so damn easy. Um, but now on this one, they've got a bigger box and 
no sort of coiling rods and all that sort of stuff. So you're using essentially like like you used to back in the day with a screwdriver. And I, I don't get it. I don't. I just I don't. I don't. I, I can't wrap my head around it. That just seems to me to be a bigger box that things are kind of not really held in there very well. Um, and I don't I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't. I really can't wrap my head around that one. But uh, but no. So there you go. That's the thing. Now then, the thing that I did think was was genius um, that I came up with, uh, when it comes to concentrates and, and, and mixing and all that sort of good stuff, I have I have a drawer here that I just throw all my concentrates in. And then when I'm on Fresh's show on a Saturday, it's a gigantic pain in the ass because I can't see what I've got. I always lose things. And also now my, my boom arm for my mic is on this little pullout sort of shelf that's on top of the drawer so I can't open the drawer with the mic and it's just a fucking nightmare so um what I did was uh, I, I thought outside the box by getting a different type of box hey eh? what see what I did there um so this hop -ah, this here is a uh, this is a nail polish um box holder thing and uh, it, it kind of it opens on both sides so you've got that door and then uh, and then you spin it around and pew, pew. There you go. You got it on that door as well. What? What? So it's got 48 holes, um, and uh, and I've kind of doubled up most of them, and that's uh, so you can get you know nearly a hundred sort of 10 mil um, jobbies in there. But I've got some of the larger, larger, larger uh, silver line bottles going on down the bottom here as well. So um, I just you know that I thought was rather handy. I thought that was rather good. So. Um, Yes, there we go. And it's also something because Mrs. Biker is going to get into making some e-liquid. So rather than her coming up here and having to toil away at my desk, um, having that all in there means that I can just poodle on downstairs, give it to her, and then and then off she pops. Job's a good one. <laughs> so, no, I thought that was rather good. Now, that's what I put the affiliate link to for in the description. Hopefully you can see that. Um, if not, that'll be there once this is uploaded. Uh, but it was 20 quid off Amazon, um, and uh, and away you go. But just to make life so much easier, and I can see more of what I've got there, and it just makes life, it makes life, I mean, there's, you know, there's there's loads of things you can do, but it's a, an easy to carry carry case, boom, wallop. I'll probably end up getting another one for a, a bunch more concentrates, but uh, but there you go. So, organised, and it looks like I know what I'm doing, and, uh, and everyone's a winner. Now then, where's some juice? Don't want the northern syrup. I've got the northern syrup in the, uh, in the squonker. I've got the, uh, I've got the, 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 the peach in the uh, in the phobia here. Now, one of the things that I'll point out in the in the phob phobia review is I know some people and me included when I first got this had hell no problem with with kind of leaking with um, easy to kind of get juice going down the uh, the airflow holes and uh, and I've, I've sussed it now. So as you just saw, I just my juice in and everyone's a winner. But good, I think. I think that's everything that's in that's new. I've got a secret over there that I can't show you. <laughs> um, but uh, no, I think we are. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Right, vaping biker. Where do you get your concentrates for mixing from? Asks Daniel Carter Sewell. Um, now, uh, e-liquid flavor concentrates, vapable.co.uk. And another one that's name I can't remember. I think Vapable is the one that seems to have more sort of um, concentrates from more uh, manufacturers all in one place. Because I did find that I had a bit of a problem getting kind of what I wanted. They were like most some were flavor art heavy, some with it were in aware heavy and all that sort of stuff. And uh, and they didn't have all the flavors I wanted. But I think it was Vapable that that had uh, the majority the majority of what I wanted. But I've used a, a few. Um, what else? Will you be reviewing the Kennedy Roundhouse Roundhouse 2700 Mech Mod? No plans to at all, Devin Devin uh, Lethbridge. Um, <coughs> I didn't get the I didn't get the original one, um, but uh, but I really I'm not a not a fan of the 2700s. I'm not, I'm just not. So um, but uh, no. So it's certainly not something I'm going to buy. If they ask me if I want to review it, then um, uh, I, I certainly may do. But uh, but uh, certainly not something that I'm uh, I'm planning on doing at this moment. Um, what else we got now? Now is the time to get your questions in if you've got some. 
Um, Superfly, what bike do you ride? Honda Shadow 750s when I can ride, although now I'm a cripple and I can't ride. So I'm waiting for it to get triked. All the links, as always, in every description of every video I do. So uh, go and check that out. And there's pictures of the bike and everything. Or Church, says Dean. Or Church, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right so start your questions with at vaping biker and then try and put it in uppercase just so i can see it because i'm i'm a bit blind and a little bit stupid um i'm just scrolling here to see if there's anything uh that i have missed uh did i see baker's dozen victoria sponge in there dean yes you did chris salter now i've used it in a mix but i've not used it as a single flavor so i can't tell you about that one at the moment uh i think i'll keep my v2 kit says flying Zemo about the uh the coil master stuff absolutely i i certainly have no intention of changing out from my v2 kit whatsoever um now then let's let's go through here i much prefer 18 650 mods i've got the kennedy 25 and a few roundhouse v2 and i love it i i still it's going to take a lot for me to move away from 18650s i love my vtc 5a's and so when it comes to mechanical or unregulated mods i tend to um i tend to gravitate towards sticking vtc 5a's in most things with a lot of my regulated stuff i tend to use 30 q's um uh, but i do want to do more with 2650s because the uh, what are these called what are these called i always forget um, the HG6s from LG are 2650s, and I love them. I think they're great, but you can't use them in very many things. Um, so, and I still haven't cut the end off a off a off a condom thingy. I need I need to to cut the end off one of these so I can use a 2650 and a 2700 mod. Um, but uh, no, that'll but that'll be happening. Um, any, ooh, William Holder, any idea where to get an adapter for a 2650? No, uh, just get get uh, get get one of the normal 18650 adapters and and cut the end off. I think. But uh, I may I may print something up. Um, <clears throat> Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Trek. There you go. Get that up, yeah. Um, <laughs> what else have we got? What's your opinion on the kid Donnie Smokes? I tend to think he's a pretty damaging influence on our community. He's certainly done a lot of very silly things, and uh, and um, yeah, I mean it's 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 not great. It's not great to be honest with you. Uh, which do you prefer, fully mech squonkers or squonker with a MOSFET? Fully mech. If we're going unregulated, fully mech generally generally but there are exceptions there was the lunar um that is uh, is an unregulated mod but it's got more than just a mosfet going on in there um that i i think was bloody marvelous uh now then any update on the daedalus pro review um i uh, i mentioned that earlier on andy i i will be doing it and very very soon i tried to get a response from um from uh, from uh, avid artisan i emailed them uh, a few days before they went off for the chinese new year and then uh, sort of after a couple of days i got a response saying nope we're not answering anything we're off we're going to go off to our, our new year thing and uh, i'll answer it in a couple of weeks so uh, so because of that the the review is going up but if you've got a v1 stick with it um and I think you you might still be able to find it's the V1 jig. I mean, the the V2 has a nice idea when it comes to making space claptons, but it's not absolutely essential. Um, but uh, but no, the V1 seems to work much better for regular claptons and fuse claptons for me. Uh, now then, oh, we have we've got questions thick and fast. Um, Sarah. I can't pronounce your last name, Sarah. What drip tips do you like to use? I didn't like the one I got with my atomizers. I've so learned to use the lathe and I made mine. Um, bloody good work as well. Good work. I think that's marvellous. Um, I, I tend to, uh, what have I liked? I really like Big's tips. Um, I've got a couple of DHD tips, which I've, I've had not a bad time with. Um, and uh, and um, uh, Mr. Dibley, um, who, used to, who used to make, pardon me, drip tips. He doesn't make them anymore. Um, I've still got quite a few of his as well. So, you know, Big's Tips, uh, Dibley's Drip Tips and uh, and uh, DHC generally. But uh, there we go. That's that. Um, now then, have you seen the Mooch review on the Samsung 30T? Uh, Mohammed, I actually did a video with Mooch just before Christmas where we discussed the 30T and the um, the difference between that and the, and the, uh, the VDC 5A and something else. So, yes. 
Todd's out of bed. I think he's just playing sick. He's he's getting on. He needs his rest. He thinks he's a young man. He, th he in his head he thinks he's there, but he's not. <laughs> Um, how's it going on the other side of the pond? Have you seen the Pulse 80 Watt mod? Yes, Chevy Man Vape Clouds. I have seen, uh, I have seen, I haven't got one, I haven't touched one, but uh, yes, I have seen, I have seen pictures of it and I have seen uh, Tony talking about it. So yes, I have. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Trek for Life says Legion Vapes. Fucking right too. Um, and, and also, you know, I think Shatner has to win it. And then uh, I, th I think, uh, I, uh, what's his face? Jean-Luc Picard. I think I, I do like him as a captain as well. Um, now then, a hot build for a single 18650 squonker, single and dual coils, please. Well, it, you know, what do you like to wrap? <laughs> Depends, doesn't it? Um, <coughs> but if you're if you're finding that you're getting huge ramp up time, um, go with stainless steel. And uh, go with a slightly thinner gauge. Get your get your get your Claptons down with the thinner gauge, and they will ramp up super quick and be hot as hell. So uh, I use twenty six gauge on all my Claptons uh, purely because I really like the uh, the ramp up time and the warmth that I get from them. Uh, do you have the new VT six VTC six A? Asks Ben. No, I haven't. I haven't ordered any of those, Ben, um, as yet. Although I do want to give one a go. Uh, um, <clears throat> Raphael's asked about the uh, the the eighty watt gene chip as well. Um, to be honest with you, the, when it came to the Vupu stuff, I just didn't like the uh, the the form factor of the Vupu uh, mods that I've uh, I've had in the past. And uh, the chip, I can't really remember, or the board rather, because Rick at Modmaker will get ever so upset if you call a board a chip because the chips are part of a board. Um, is um, it, it seemed alright. I think there was a bit of a hoo ha with the, with temp control. I think I seem to remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. But uh, Ian Schwartz did a nice written review of the drag on vapingbiker.co.uk, so you can always go and check that out. Um, as far as the pulse goes, it's going to be one of those things that because it's going to be a single battery regulated mod, you know, it's going to be kind of, it's sweet spot, I imagine it's going to be between kind of 30 and, and 45 watts, and that way you won't kind of stress the battery too much and, and expect too much length of time. Are you getting the Twisted Message 24 Pro? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't spoken to Kent about it, so I don't know as yet. Um, Bogan is going to be making a mech that will take the 2650 batteries. I know. I know. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to, uh, to to learning more about that. I think Sam's a great guy. I really... I was actually speaking to him early on today. Um, but no, I think he's uh, he's rather splendid. Vapor biker. Vapor biker? Vaping biker, Ruben. <clears throat> now then, have you got the new Mech Mod Pro V2? Nope. I have not. So there we go. Uh, oh, 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 that just, it just went. <laughs> um, now then, what else have we got going on here? The Nurse Vapes, High Vaping Biker, you're awesome. You're awesome too. Thank you very much indeed. Um, now then, what else have we got going on here? Uh, what RDA do you recommend I vape between 50 and 80 watts? Well, A, why do you want to vape between 50 and 80 watts? And B, um, adjust to, to taste. Don't be, don't be, we need to kind of get away. Vaping now seems to have kind of moved way more towards a case of going, um, we've got to build low and we've got to, we've got to hit a certain number when it comes to the resistance. And, um, you know, it's got to be a certain power. Fuck that. That is, that's, that's not a thing. That isn't a thing. Um, yes, you need to make sure you don't build too low so it's going to stress batteries. So from a safety point of view, you need to be aware of where not to go. But as far as, as far as everything else goes, you adjust to taste. Don't, don't be too hung up about it. You don't have to vape at a certain power and you don't have to vape um, a certain kind of, you know, you don't have to go under 0.1 of a, uh, of a 0.1 ohms to be able to get a warm vape on a mech, for instance. That's ridiculous. So, uh, you know, just it's, it's all about learning to build the right coils with the right materials and you can get a really satisfying vape. I very, very rarely go under kind of 0 0.15, 0 0.14 with my with my Claptons because I've got no need to. I think they uh, I think it works a little tricky. That's plenty enough, Cloud. I'm not doing a competition. Um, and uh, and on this uh, on this um, on this uh, death trap at the minute, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, and a single coil going on there. Fuck. 
flavour for days and nice amounts of clouds as well. So everyone's a winner, even though that was running out of juice a little bit. But, you know, you get the idea. You get where I'm saying. So, you know, don't get too hung up about it. Just get back to enjoying vaping. Um, uh, what I recommend uh, are those flavours available in America? All of the flavours that I looked at and uh, and that I, I use are available. So I guess you're talking about the flavour concentrates, which were Flavor Art, In Aware, Flavor Apprentice, and all this sort of stuff. And they're all absolutely available in in the states go and check out the fresh o3 channel um to get a bunch more information about that sort of stuff and it's a fantastic channel not just because i'm on it occasionally but it's a fantastic channel when you're learning about uh, about mixing as well now then what else have we got uh todd hey speak up can't hear is that because you're old Maybe I don't know. Um, now then, good to hear. Have you done is consistent customer services? Consistent much for the V1. Have you? Got I've answered that one. Andy Vickery, uh, Dean, did you get the Model Forty One from Rig uh, Worldwide? What do you think? Is that is that the is that the RDA? Is that the RDA? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to answer that. <laughs> Hang on. What what have I got here? Hang on. I might have. <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you more about that because if I were to have one, then it would be a pre-production one and I'd have to make sure that I check to see if there's any differences between the pre-production and the uh, and the production versions. Um, have you seen or got the V-God Pro Meg 2? Again, no. Still no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I saw I saw Grim show it off. Did it was it Grim that showed it off? I think I've seen someone show it off. Uh, tighter or looser wick for series? Right in the middle, DJ Shards. Right in the middle. Um, the vapor of forty four point four or fifty five point five is is silly. <laughs> well, no, yeah, okay, you kind of got me there, but I do adjust to taste. I don't kind of aim for that for a thing. If it doesn't work at forty four, I was vaping at forty watts dead early on. Just 40 watts straight. So, you know, it does change. Um, are you going to review the Bad Boy RDA from Y Star? You know, I thought I might do. I put that up on the on the community page on YouTube thinking that uh, it's, I mean, it's a cheap and cheerful. It's an undercoil air. I don't like undercoil airflow. Um, but it's one of those and it looked kind of funky and I might buy one. But no, it's nothing, nothing to do with me whatsoever. Um, Dean, what coil wire for Squape X Dream? Uh, 26 gauge. Canthal. Go with that. There you go. <laughs> Is E-Sig 1 and Grey Haze good shops to buy from? Uh, Grey Haze, absolutely. E-Sig 1, I think, I think Todd will be able to answer me. Did I, did we, did we buy our, like, v Sigo moon boxes from E-Sig 1? Was that E-Sig 1? If it was, then, uh, then yeah, I had no problem with them. Uh, when I bought stuff, so uh, no, I've I've not had any. I've not seen their customer service, but I've certainly not uh, not had any problem if they're the people that I'm thinking of. Grey Haze, though, yep, perfectly fine and dandy. Um, what else have we got going on here? No, then uh, is there a link to Sam talking about making a mech mod? I think yeah, I think he just kind of mentions it in his in his vlogs at the minute um, because it's not a it's not a thing. Um, are Clapton's named after Eric or the sex disease? I think they're named after Eric, um, guitar mic because of their similarity to a guitar string. So there we go. <laughs> now then, uh, what else we got? Babylon 5 or Farscape? Um, neither. Um, so I will choose, I will choose, I will choose, um, Timeless and... And, oh, God, what was the series that was really good and then got cancelled and they made a film of it? What was that? With with flipping, what's his face in it? <laughs> what was that called? Uh, it, oh, it, oh, did it begin with E? <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Anyway, that. <laughs> Where do you see the vape industry in the next five years, asked Paul Sykes. Now, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that um, obviously regulation will kind of fall in favour of, of the testing and all that sort of stuff that we're seeing. So, um, you know, things get a little bit more realistic and hopefully more countries around the world will understand that. Now, I don't think that's going to change certain countries that are heavily influenced by uh, tobacco income um, to a much greater extent than kind of your, your kind of your America and, and UK and, and Europe and all that sort of stuff. So I think there is going to be a, a there is going to be a, a more of a struggle 
struggle going on there. But hopefully we're going to see kind of vaping kind of not be unregulated. I, th I can see that we're going to get a different style of regulation come in. So not necessarily like the TPD or the TRPR that we've got here and whatever's going on in the States. But I think that regulation is going to evolve as well and hopefully allow us to do kind of more things. And I think we are going to get taxed more. I think that's a, a certainty. Um, but uh, no, I don't think we're going to see many kind of massive jump forward i think i think we've kind of we've we've made so much of a jump with technology and everything else over the last um five years that uh, in another five years i think that's going to slow down massively but we should hopefully see we're not going to get better flavor than anything we get now um but uh but hopefully we will see kind of a little bit more advancement when it comes to um when it comes to the style of products we use i keep seeing people trying to use different things like ceramic for as a, as a heating element and and Obviously, we've had mesh and various other things, and there was some. There wasn't there a company that did like an ultrasonic thing. Um, that no, I don't really get how that works. <laughs> Um, oh, thank you very much, Truck Invades. Very kind. Thank you very much for your five dollar super chat. Um, if anybody does think about doing the five dollar super chat. Um, don't use the super chat on YouTube because they take thirty percent of it and they they demonetize the fuck out of me. So, um, so uh, <laughs> there is a PayPal.me link if you want to do a sort of a one-off contribution to the channel, or obviously there is Patreon if you want to carry on. However, where do you see the what what where do you see the committee of vape reviewers in five years as a whole and in collaboration? Um, are you sort of talking about kind of vape reviewers in general? Where do I see they're going to, you know, how's that going to change? I don't, I hopefully we're going to see more vape reviewers that will take kind of a more of a spin off like the tech channels and all that sort of stuff. And so vape reviewing as a whole is kind of more professional and it looks nicer and, um, and it's a more enjoyable kind of watching experience. I try to make that happen, but there's a long way to go still, um, for my channel, but Hopefully, it's going to kind of be more. Uh, there's, there's going to. I mean, if you look at tech reviews, for instance, or phone reviews, or whatever else, there is millions of people out there doing that kind of thing, um, and uh, and the good ones shine through. And I think vape reviewing will be will be exactly the same thing. People like different people, and that's what what all this will boil down to. And the more people that get into vaping, the more people are going to be looking for guidance, and uh, and so hopefully that's going to be uh, that's going to be a thing. So hopefully we get to see more of them. So hopefully, uh, Mr. Truck and Vapes, that answers that question for you. No, then that scrolled forward like a monster. Uh, what are your thoughts on mouth to lung RDAs? Thinking of getting one, but don't know which one. Um, I kind of mouth to lung RDAs aren't really my bag, to be honest with you. I really do enjoy the uh, the no name stuff though, the no legal and the the uh, what's this one. Oh, they don't have the names on, do they? What's that one? What's that one, gang? I can't remember. Is that going to focus? Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, you twat. Uh, <laughs> here we go. That little puppy. The proper mouth to lung. Proper mouth to lung. Proper tight. And for me, it's generally a thing when I mouth to lung, I want it to be kind of one mil airflow and, um, and just a, a, a nice kind of gentle vape. I don't go for throat hit and all that. I can't be fucked with that. Um, but uh, no, for, uh, you know. They're the ones I, I, I like. But um, to get more mouth to lung info when it comes to that sort of stuff, go and check out people like Todd and uh, and and even Damien, bloody good vaping. He's now coming back on the scene again, which is great. Um, so congrats to, to Damien for Damien for that one. And um, yeah, so go and check those guys out. Uh, but we don't have many of the sort of affordable mouth to lung RDAs as yet. When it comes to the tank, though, the Berserker, absolutely spot on. I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, right, Firefly. That was the one. Firefly. Fucking right. Or Serenity. Oh, was it Fire? No, it was Firefly. It's for a Firefly. There we go. <laughs> um, now then, what else have we got? I'm just going to scroll through now. Don't forget if you've got a question, because I'm scrolling through at Vaping Biker and then uppercase helps me see them a little bit easier for my rather old buggered eyes. Um, if you have a cup of tea, do you put the tea in first or the milk in first? The tea. You don't put milk in first. That's wrong. You scold the milk if you do that. Um, so, no. <laughs> um, Biker X-Files with Fox Mulder. Is that the show? What? No, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, have you done the e-scribe theme for the Theron DNA? Fuck me. Forgot all about it again. <laughs> all I've got to do is brighten up the logo a little bit. 
And uh, but I said, I think I said, does it last week? I said that I was going to just stick it on there as is. So I I really need to pull my finger out. Someone send me a message about that tomorrow. No, don't, because there'll be a million of them. Um, what else we got going on here? Uh, scrolling through sci-fi nostalgia. Absolutely. The old sci-fi is the best. Mind you, the Timeless series. Timeless, I thought, was it was a bit of a strange one to get used to, but it kind of got into it. And apparently, when it got cancelled, uh, the, the, the fans got so upset with it, then it, uh, it, it, it that's why it's come back again. Um, Serenity was the film. That's right. That's right. Firefly was the show, wasn't it? So then, now, is there anything else? Any more for any more? Get those questions in before I go, because like I say, I'm not going to be doing it. This isn't a super late one. I've got a little bit more more to do and uh, and things and stuff. Oh, hello. Trucking vapes. Um, there was another one. Do you feel there is an oversaturation of vape reviewers in this community? No, trucking vapes. No, no. Sorry, I missed that one. Um, I, I don't. I think we could do with more because, um, like I said, people like... I've got hair. Got Sandy here, right on the microphone. Sorry if that freaks you out. Um, but uh, no, I think I think different people like different things, and so because of that, then you know, you people will gravitate to the type of person that they like and they get on with. Um, and for that, I think is a good thing. I think that's you know more more power to it. And it's not it's not competition. It's not anyone who gets into into YouTube and thinks it's co obviously between me and Todd, it's competition. Obviously, but um, but in general, there's no competition going on. It's just a thing. It's just you know, get out there and do it. And be if people like it people like it if they don't they don't it's no biggie you can't force people to like stuff um what else alfred th well my comments are not showing in chat yes they are <laughs> <laughs> um, now then um ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> at the nurse vapes <laughs> can my channel get a shout out the nurse vapes there you go there's a shout out. <laughs> and Todd did a marvellous job in chat as well. Um, <laughs> uh, now then, what else have we got going on here? <clears throat> Just going to have a little little uh, thing. Uh, Craig Higginbotham. Both them. Both, is it both them? Uh, remember V. The film V? I remember the film. Um, now then, what else have we got going on here? Whereabouts are you from? Asks Matt Gardner. I am from, um, where am I? Norfolk, Norwich, UK. Boom. There's a huge competition amongst vape reviews in other countries. Well, yeah, I mean, this is what I'm, what I was saying. I mean, hopefully that sort of stuff will kind of calm down. There will be, there will, there will be competition amongst a lot of people i think generally and you tend to find that kind of the larger the the youtuber gets the less competition there is because they're comfortable in their own skin and they're comfortable in their own channel and all that um and i'm not dissing anybody on that by saying this but it's just it's um i think it's just you know i think that as 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 things grow and as the vape industry grows youtube will be more popular it's the it's more popular than tv now for kind of i think it's like under 25 year olds to search for stuff and uh, and watch stuff on and all that sort of stuff so um and i think i think it's it's getting more popular than actual google for searching like how to do things so because of that i think it's just i think it's going to uh, i think it's going to expand and fair play to it give it some beans i reckon more reviewers the better i think it's good give it some um yes it is both as in in fantastic craig Thank you very much indeed. Uh, John Whistler, I was referring to the juices you were vaping on now. Um, with, uh, uh, yes, yes. Vapor Junkie. Uh, yes. These are these are made in Canada. Uh, pardon me. Focus. Focus. You bastard. Um, yes, they're, they're made in Canada. So, yeah, if you go to vaporjunkie.com, is it? If you're in America. I think it's like Vapor Junkie dot eu dot code no dot you i don't know google google it um now then um have any have you watched the daredevil tv series yes it was all right it was better than iron fist <laughs> um, 
no, then it's not about competition, it's about cooperation, helping as many people as we can. Absolutely, you nurse folks. Absolutely. Uh, personal thoughts on the drag. I didn't like the shape of it at all. I think it felt cheap. It was massive and I, it wasn't comfortable. So I didn't like it. And I quite like large mods, you know. I like, I, it's weird because I, I like chunky big old mods from time to time. But when they're, when they're too kind of retro, I just, I didn't get on with it. And I hated that big drag on the side. I thought that looked awful. Uh, do I know Alan Partridge? Yes, he's my uncle. Um, getting a limelight freehand for my 50th. Should I go for mechanical or MOSFET? Uh, depends on what you, how you vape. I would, I would say, really, if you're kind of a, a you know, sensible resistance person, then uh, I, I, a lot of people love the MOSFET. That little click, a little bit less on the movement, and I think it's less aggro because with the mechanical, you do have to kind of give it some beans to press it down because you're bending a bit of metal. Um, but the MOSFET should should do you fine and dandy. Um, uh, sparky, sparkies. Um, now then, uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, oh psh, gone. Uh, got to go on rendering my video. All right then, have a good night. Enjoy yourself. Um, I am today one month off cigarettes and a month on uh, your vape channel. Congratulations, Nurse Vapes. I think we've plugged your channel enough. No, I think we've I think we've done it. But congratulations on being one month off uh, off the smokes. Good work on you, and uh, here's to many more. Cheers. Um, what's your thought on the gas mods GR1 Fro T? I have no thoughts on it whatsoever. I think we looked at it a couple of vlogs ago where we showed a couple of pictures. Was it last vlog or the one before? Can't remember. And uh, I haven't got one, so I haven't, uh, haven't done it. You got to put your crown on. I did put it on when I when I when I uh, when Mr. Todd gave it to me, but uh, it's it's far too small. It's ridiculous. It looks stupid. So uh, that's why uh, <laughs> that's why Dave is looking after it up there. <laughs> um, now, yeah, what else have we got going on here? Uh, please stop using your mismatched RDA and tube mech. Well, but no, it's kind of it's got a, it's got an ultim top. So no, no, screw you. You're not the boss of me. You're not my real dad. Shush. <laughs> um, but i do know what you mean i do know what you mean i haven't actually cleaned up my uh i haven't cleaned up my dead rabbit or whatever i've got a i've got a yeah mm, no I haven't, I haven't cleaned up any other brass toppers so that's 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 the thing and now then what else have we got going on here is there any other questions um uh, uh, uh dean what's the best cheap rda on the market right now kelvin there isn't a best cheap market on the uh, on the on the market right now um it's just however you like to vape um what have we got going on oh, thoughts on tony b's pulse mod with it i've, I've talked about that already drop 75 viewing um what do you think of the aries i thought it was all right i thought it was all right didn't really blow my socks off because and and um it's not really my style of vaping, to be honest with you, um, but it didn't quite go tight enough for me personally. It didn't go down to that one mil, I don't think. Um, and so for that, I, it didn't it didn't kind of rock my socks. And I was and I'm still I'm just so in love with the Berserker because it's a nice and short, flavorful little super tight RDA. Um, but uh, no, I liked it. I mean, it was as far as I can like anything along those lines. I thought it was all right. Um, uh, as a real biker, do you know Hutch? No. <laughs> um, what else happened there? Whatever happened to your limelight freehand? It's here, it's here, it's here. There we go. Boom. Um, I've said before on various occasions that I don't always get to, uh, to use the products that I really want to use and uh, because I'm busy doing stuff. So, you know, reviewing other shit means that you can't really uh, can't really review, uh, get to play with your, your nice toys. But uh, no, I've certainly kept hold of it so I can uh, I can vape it when I get that kind of vibe. Uh, what else have we got going on here? Do you think there will be more RDAs or RD RTAs than last year getting produced? I don't think, I think it would be hard pushed for us to get more, I think, to be honest with you. It's... Um, it's a uh, it's a tough one it really is a tough one uh, because i mean china just go mental for getting out as many products as they can i'd like to see it slow down a little bit to be honest with you because i'd like to see a little bit more innovation and i'd like to see people concentrate on stuff particularly with rtas they they, they just all seem the same to be honest with you um uh, 
and drop 75 viewing. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, mate. No Todd today. Nope. Nope. Jacob. No Todd today. He's in chat though. Uh, who is your favorite reviewer? Mm. Peter McKinnon. There we go. Um, why don't we have a picture of Mr. Todd's reviews? Because he's in bed and, and I don't need a picture of Todd's reviews. There, he, there's there's one just behind Dave of his, of his kind of postcard. You can kind of almost see him poking through up there. Um, can you recommend some coils for the baby beast or other smock coil other than smock coils? Nope. Sorry, Paul. I can't. Um, I don't. I know nothing about them. Um, Innerware of custard or Cap V One? Cap V One was the beast. That was the one with the with the nasties in it, I think. And uh, so uh, I, Cap V One, I'd go with. Or just you know go crazy and get them both and stick them both in. <gasps> get a little bit funky with your custard. Um, what have we got going on here? I would hope the bigger the YouTuber gets, so they don't lose focus on the importance of smoking, of non, non, no smoking. I agree with you, Trucking Vapes. That is that is absolutely one of those things. However, I, I think it would be absurd of me to, to, to say that my channel is all about getting people off cigarettes because um, when, when you're making that transition from, from, um, from smoking to vaping, you've got no idea what you're looking for. Very few people will actually search YouTube to try and find that out. Now, I know... Uh, Phil Basado and Dimitri have now got a brilliant um, kind of what's it called the Smokers Show or something um, to is is kind of helping that transition between um, to between smokers and vaping. But uh, once somebody gets into vaping, hopefully something like my channel can help people keep kind of enthused about it, particularly with the hobbyist aspect. That's what really got me keeping off the cigarettes, the hobbyist aspect of vaping. And uh, so channels like mine uh, will will help keep that going, I believe. That's that's what I, I seem to think as well. But no, you're absolutely right. There, there should be more. Um, I'd love to see more, more channels kind of focused on um, pod systems and kind of, you know, what's fresh out there for the for the kind of the, the, the people who can go out and buy and have a direct replicant for, for smoking. I'd love to see more of that. I'd love to have the time to do more of that. But quite, quite frankly, I just don't, sadly. Uh, Kevin K. Hi, Dean the Vaping Biker. Hello, how are you doing? Um, uh, Matthew is squonking the next big thing. It's It's been a thing for a while. It was it was quite a thing years and years ago. And for the last, uh, well, for the last year it's been big. And then uh, for the la uh, two years ago when I reviewed the M-Vape squonkers, I was quite insistent it was going to get huge then. And uh, and so there it is. Um, what's your favourite motorcycle to ride? Honda Shadows, Lando. Um, once again, everything's always in the... Uh, it's always in the uh, description of all the videos. Um, have you done a theme for the DNA 75C? Yes, Neil, I have, but I have not. Uh, I've not published it, uh, which I, I was talking about earlier on that I really need to publish. Any recommendations for a sour cherry type flavour? No, I have none. I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Dave looks younger than Mr. Todd. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, is my trusty old OBS engine still comparable with the latest gen of RTAs? Not really an RTA man, Andrew. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you're not going to get, a, you're not really going to get a massive amount of uh, of um, of uh, of different flavour from anything else. So if you're enjoying it, crack on with it. You know, keep going with it. When can we expect your next coil building video? Well, as I've said previously in vlogs, my review queue is now looking much much more manageable. So I'm anticipating. Um, by kind of mid next week, if I can, if I can, uh, if I can uh, keep going, um, th and not get struck down by illness again, um, then uh, then hopefully I'll be in a position where I can do my kind of two to three um, product reviews a week, and then do things like my tutorials and uh, and all that sort of stuff. Um, now then, what else are you? Ah, now good good question, James. Are you enjoying Mooch's new channel? Channel. <laughs> Yes, I am very much enjoying Mooch's new channel, but still, it's, it's you know, there's not enough vapors that are subscribing to it, and that's doing my tits in. Um, there should be a link down below in the description to uh, to that, if it's showing anything at all at the moment. If not, there will be once this video goes up. Um, and I do just implore you guys to go and, and subscribe to Mooch's channel, because, not only, I mean, even if you think you know about batteries, or you've got your VTC 5As and your 30Qs, and you're perfectly happy with them, that's brilliant, but... Um, 
it's great to know about the, the next battery because what happens when your VTC 5As just stop? You can't get hold of them anymore because so, like Dyson's bought them all up or whatever else. So, you know, it's great to have that information, learning what's new out on the market and also learning his, uh, his I, did, I haven't finished seeing his um, last live one. I think he's doing another live one tomorrow. Um, but uh, no, just, just go and just, just, you can go and subscribe to him as a favor as a favor for me go and subscribe to mooch please thank you very much indeed um now then any news from avid artisan yet no i did mention earlier on no no none because they told me they couldn't be asked to reply because they're going on holiday um most overrated mod 2017 drag possibly i don't know don't really know um i'll try and elude squonk would you buy it yes and what are your thoughts i reviewed it steven so go and check out my review that covers it but i think it's brilliant I really, really like it. Boxer 250C, thoughts? None. I haven't, haven't ever had a Boxer product, so I don't really know what they're like. Um, but the uh, as far as the 250C goes, um, I will uh, hopefully have some more info on that soon. But I'm, I, I used to always love the um, Yeehee board. Um, and I must admit, as they've got more and more complicated, I've kind of fallen away from them a little bit. I still think their temp control is, is very good, but uh, I have gone more kind of towards the DNA side of things um, from a simplistic point of view. I think they're just dead easy to use, to be honest. Um, now then, what else have we got? What else have we got? Trucking Vapes, uh, when can we look forward to you at a convention in the US? Uh, pfft. As soon as a US company takes me over, I imagine. <laughs> it's, it's certainly not something that uh, that uh, that I can uh, I can think about from a financial standpoint currently. However, you know, if you're not a Patreon, then uh, pop over to Patreon, support the channel, and then you never know. <laughs> um, uh, now then, uh, how about a quick vid explaining the differences in types of wire? Absolutely, and I'd I'd love to do that, Craig. Absolutely. Um, what else have we got going on here? I think we're kind of coming to an end. The vicious ant spade squonk is the tits. Absolutely. It flipping is trucking vapes. Absolutely. Um, and thank you very much for that uh, that last contribution as well, trucking vapes. Very kind of you. Inbuilt or separate batteries for mods, which is better. I like separate batteries. I like charging them separately. Um, it just, I mean, I've, I've opened up some mods and I've, I've seen some really kind of wires, wires that I wouldn't have been super comfortable about, you know, from a charging point of view view um and i just think it's right to take your batteries out and charge them separately that's just me personally and i think that's the safest way to go ahead and do things rather than always charge it. if you need to charge in a mod now and then just to get you through a, a, a spot like you're out and about then fair enough but when it comes to kind of daily use i think we should all take our batteries out and charge them properly in a proper charger um because also we can then a lot of mods now are kind of going for fast charge and going them in and putting them in at like a 0.5 or a, a one amp charge it means that you're kind of you're 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 doing nice things to the battery rather than just forcing it and mooch talks about that as well so you know there we go um right do you, uh do you have tor for what <clears throat> do you have, ruben's asking do you have tor first mod slash setup over there i have genuinely have no idea what you're asking <laughs> So, no, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying there, I'm afraid. I can't answer that question. <clears throat> now then. Oh, that northern syrup, honestly, fucking great. Uh, have you tried flat wire? Is it? If so, is it any good? I I have, um, and it didn't, it didn't kind of knock my spots off. I know a lot of people love it, um, but uh, it didn't knock my spots off flying sumo. And, uh, you know, when I flatten my my Claptons, then I guess that kind of gives me that kind of vibe and that kind of wick coverage and all that sort of stuff. So there we go. Um, what's your favorite 18650 mech tube? Have you tried the, the Trishel by Hellvape? Um, no, I've not tried that mech mod. Um, and I don't have a favorite. Once again, and I probably say this 18 times a week that i don't have um very many favorites of anything because i'm very very lucky to have a nice choice of equipment that i can use um but it often depends on what i fancy using if i want to vape a, uh, a stainless steel atomizer and uh, and it's a 24 then i will at the moment i'm picking up the dreamer mech and uh, you know there's, there's various there's various i've got options it just depends what am i using what am i putting on top of it am i going hard onto it do i want a big mod little mod big battery little battery yeah, all of that sort of stuff so um yeah i don't I, I don't think i don't think there's a uh there's a there's a best um now then 
This I thought this was supposed to be a short one. Same here. People keep asking questions, Ian. What's that all about? Um, <laughs> and do you know there's a big difference in flavour with the wire you use for building coils? I think so, but um, uh, it could be. It could be kind of psychological. I don't know. But I think that the, the Claptons that I use work out really, really well for me, which is why I like them and I put them in everything. And if, you're, if you don't know which Claptons I'm on about, I did do a tutorial about those. Um, and you'll be able to find that in the tutorial playlist on the channel. Is T the future or power? TC the future or power? Asks Matthew. I think um, TC is fantastic and should be used for beginners um, going straight in from cigarettes to to vaping because a lot of uh, a lot of beginners don't understand what um, what uh, burnt flavor is all about. And that sounds preposterous for those of us that have been vaping for any period of time. But uh, I know that I didn't when I first started. I was vaping on my little first setup um, over in Germany for the best part of a week getting headaches and all sorts of things because I was vaping on burnt coils but didn't know anything else about it um, so you know I think TC is hugely important for, for new starters um, and so I'd love to see TC in pod systems to be honest with you but uh, for a lot of other people then you know power I but you know options isn't it options are good um, what's the profile of northern syrup syrup for maple syrup on pancakes Boom. There you go. Uh, what milligram nicotine do you use? Three milligram. And I have no requirement to uh, to take that away and, and go down to zero in the slightest. Uh, do you prefer the Scottish roll method or do you have another one? I don't. I, I, I've tried the Scottish roll method and I don't think it makes any difference, to be honest with you. Um, I've showed you I've showed people in every RDA pretty much review that I just basically host my coil, uh, host my cotton in there and away you go. It's all about getting the right thickness of it, though, and not compressing the wick ends you know not the fibers that are in it if you compress them it's not going to wick up and so uh you know trying to keep them as fluffy as possible hashtag tickle the wick um Right, I think the Bow have a TC pod system. I know Bow have got, got some new stuff out of late, so that would be kind of cool if they do. Um, now then, now you need to be Scots to get it to work. Scotch. Do you need to be Scotch, Todd? I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, now then right i think we're done ladies and gentlemen this got to be like what's what's this hour and 17 minutes hey that's not bad floris hey i finally caught you live for once <laughs> i'm now going floris <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> um but uh no there we go so Thank you very much for joining me. Sorry that Mr. Todd is hasn't been in with us this week. Um, I'm I'm hoping. Oh, I just I didn't go down the middle. I'm hoping that uh, Mr. T will join us again for Monday Night Live next week. Yeah, I missed the middle. Yes, hoping that uh, Mr. Todd will join us, and we may have another guest, possibly. We'll see. Um, but I'm not going to tell you about that until until it happens. So there you go. Until that, like the show so <laughs> there you go but there is going to be a bucket load of reviews just after this one there will be the review for the uh the the what's it called phobia rda and uh and then tomorrow there will be the review for the vanguard and as for after that one i'm not entirely sure I'm not entirely sure as yet i've not thought that far ahead but uh i will uh i will uh be getting uh, uh pardon <laughs> treacle um what will you be putting on your pancakes tomorrow? Oh, I can't forget this pancake day. I'm so excited. It's literally my favourite day of the year, other than Halloween. No pancake day. Um, sugar and lemon, I imagine. Maybe some jam. I uh, might do a crazy kind of banana and, uh, and Nutella one. And uh, I might go for a chicken and ham with coleslaw as well, possibly. We'll see. That'll be first, obviously, before doing the rest of them. But um, no. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. It's so much nicer that I'm kind of, I'm still feeling not tip top. I'm not looking the best. I've, I'm kind of seeing. <laughs> so uh, I'm still not feeling the best, but uh, I, I'm far better than I have been. So um, I, uh, hopefully shit's back on track again. So that, that'll that be good, won't it? So thank you so much for uh, for your uh, for your joining me this evening. Thank you very much for all the thumbs up. Thank you very much, Trucking Vapor, for your, um, for your contributions. Don't forget, if you do want to support the channel, you can go ahead to the PayPal the, uh, link that's in the banner of the channel, or it should be in the description of any of the videos. 
Or if you want to continue to support the channel on a monthly basis, you can pop over to Patreon and go everywhere from like a dollar or three dollars or whatever. Um, and uh, the good stuff happens from like ten dollars on. But, you know, that's the thing. Um, I'm in the middle at the moment of kind of arguing with Patreon because they, uh, they're they picking on, picking on me. Um, so it's hard to do the giveaways at the moment, but I'm working through that one. So anyway, uh, I think we're good. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker, you've been awesome, and I will see you very, very soon. Have it larger!